probably seen lots of reactions where you mix a couple of things together and it makes some different stuff. And then it's done. The reaction is over. You tuck the product in a corner of the lab and forget about it until summer when you have to clean it up for next year. Okay, maybe that's not you. Maybe that's <laughs> just me. But not all reactions happen like that. Some reactions are called reversible reactions. The first reaction I did was irreversible, where all the reactants form products until I ran out of reactants. In reversible reactions, the reactants can form products and the products can form reactants. You could read the same reaction forward and backward. Here's an example. This is water. Most of the time, you don't think of water as part of a reversible reaction, but it is. It's just on a really small scale. Some of the water molecules will give away one of their hydrogen atoms to another water molecule. This creates a hydroxide and a hydronium. The equation for the reaction looks like this. But this isn't the whole story. The hydroxide and the hydronium are attracted to each other by their charge and can react to create two water molecules. The equation for that reaction looks like this. Both of these reactions happen at the same time, all the time, in a small percentage of water molecules. To simplify these two reactions, we write the equation with a double arrow to represent the reversibility. It's important to notice that not every molecule of water was turning into hydroxide and hydronium at the same time. In fact, water is mostly water as you know it most of the time. It's found an equilibrium, a balance that is unique to water. At any given time, a very small amount of water is reacting to form hydronium and hydroxide. But also at the same time, a very small amount of hydronium and hydroxide is reacting to form water. Overall, there is no net change in the amount of reactants or products that are formed. And that is equilibrium. Some reactions will create more products. Other reactions will create more reactants. But at equilibrium, the forward rate and reverse rate are equal so that there is still no net change in the amount of reactants and products. That's equilibrium. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter.